this uses the shader API that's available inside of all the GPUs. And so inside of FireMonkey RTL, we give you all the source code. There is these transitions and graphic effects that are implemented in DirectX in OpenGL uh, under the covers for you. So it, it's this pixel shader language that gets sent off to the GPU to do the work on Windows, on Mac, on iOS. You might want to do a, a drop. Here's one image and then you do this kind of drop transition over time. Dissolve transition. There are different kinds of transitions. And so there's the flowers and there's the rocks. Um, define a shape that goes in. And a saturation. Derotate and crumple. Uh, ripple, pixelate, magnify translation, the source code. And let's go to uh, FMX filter. And then inside there's the different filters. So let's just look at a transition filter and go into that unit. And if we go down after the interfaces, so this is what compiled DirectX pixel shader code looks like when the implementation section of FMX filter cat transition. We're not allowed to ship the DirectX pixel shader compiler that Microsoft ships in the DirectX uh, toolkit. So we've pre-compiled pixel shader code into these array of bytes. But here for GLES, this is what this high-level pixel shader language looks like. You can define some floating points, some vectors, some code. Here's a different transition. Here's some more pixel shader code. You can take a look at what FireMonkey is doing. Here's the void main, and there's a bunch of code for doing pixel shader operation. There's lots of different things you can do because of the HD and 3D capabilities that are in FireMonkey with images, with forms, with shapes, transitions, image effects, and so on. It's an article for the Australian Delphi user group. So go to members.adag.org or just search for how to create your own FireMonkey image effect. And so it talks about pixel shaders. And so there's this pixel shader language, and this article talks about how to use the high level shading language to do to create your own kind of pixel shader effects as well and transitions so you might take a look at this article